There's no escape, Koopa. He's gotta eat me! I can't let you leave. You belong to me. It's not working! Save yourself! If he wants to eat, eat this! It was like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world, and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. If we're going to make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gang marker I'm projecting. Great, now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. 
Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, I've programmed in a new mission destination. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. All right, Bentley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great! Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Nice one down. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. You picked up a lot of skills after reading the previous raccoon. Heck of a page turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on the light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. to get this operation underway. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian Outback, where he studied a mystic art called the Dream Time from an Aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. 
He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Thank <laughs> you.